So welcome back on our IZB live stage and you know that we have a lot of international guests here on stage that are sharing their keynotes with us and I think the longest distance that from our guests that are here is Australia but I would guess the second longest distance was made by my next guest. He is coming from the US. John Jennings is his name. He's from Amsterdam Automotive and he will be on stage after a short introduction by myself. With the market growth of electric vehicles, EV drivetrain systems are in the process of being redefined and reinvented as a part of the next generation of electric vehicle propulsion systems and next generation EV propulsion systems will need to be further optimized for function efficiency range and cost as the EV markets scale up so John Jennings will uh, tell you their solutions of Amstead Automotive and how the company is facing these challenges great to have you here welcome Thank you, Mark, it's a, and good afternoon, everybody. Um, as Mark said, I'm here to talk about multifunctional clutch technologies for electric vehicle disconnect systems for all-wheel drive. So I'd like to start by introducing Amstead Automotive. Amstead Automotive is part of Amstead Industries, a $4 billion company with over 13,000 employees. Uh, Amstead, uh, Automotive was a new brand introduced in 2021. This was um, created by combining two companies of Amstead Industries, uh, Means Industries and Burgess Norton, and more recently SMW Manufacturing. Sister companies within Amstead Industries include Conmet in the commercial vehicle sector, Amstead Rail, and BAC in the, con in the construction sector. I'd like to start by describing all-wheel drive systems with ICE engine architectures. Here we see an example of a front-wheel drive-based all-wheel drive system with the internal combustion engine at the front powering ax uh, power to both the front and the rear axles. Uh, for an all-wheel drive system in this architecture, the primary axle is the front axle, the secondary axle is the rear axle. A disconnect system is used to stop the rotation of the secondary axle for improved efficiency and, in this case, fuel economy. The disconnect is uh, accomplished through uh, features within the PTU and the RDU, which effectively stop the rotation when all-wheel drive is not needed. So if the weather is nice like today, the roads are dry, and you don't need all-wheel drive, this gives the opportunity to save energy and improve efficiency by disconnecting and stopping the rotation of the PTU, the RDU, and the prop shaft. This stops all the gears from meshing, all the rotating parts, the gears, bearings, seals, and so on. Now if we compare this to an electric vehicle uh, system, you see a big difference. In the electric vehicle system, each axle has its own motor in this case, an electric motor. So the principle is the same. During an all-wheel drive disconnect, you stop the rotation of the secondary driveline system, in this case, the rear driveline system, and you stop the rotation of the motor itself. There's some advantages with the uh, EV architecture. Because each axle has its own dedicated electric motor, this motor can actually be used to help synchronize and control the disconnect and reconnect of the system. This in turn leads to new opportunities for new technologies to be utilized in electric vehicle architectures. So I'd like to introduce our first uh, application for an all-wheel drive disconnect system from Amstead Automotive. This is a um, what we call our, our DCC, our dynamic controllable clutch. This is an electromagnetic actuation system. And it's our first application of Amstead's 
mechanical diode technology in a full EV application. So this is disconnecting the rear axle on a North American adventure vehicle. This was launched into production last year, so it's in its second year of production now. Basically, how it works with the mechanical diode system, and I'll shuttle back and forth so you can see how the struts engage and disengage. So in this condition, it's in the lock mode. All-wheel drive is functioning. When the all-wheel drive is no longer needed, because the roads are dry, there's no need for all-wheel drive traction, the system can disconnect by retracting the struts, and now the input and output to the rear drive line is completely disconnected, and the parts stop rotating. So in summary, the response time of this system is very fast, about 17 milliseconds, or less than 20 milliseconds. The system is efficient. There's no friction elements. It's all mechanical locking elements. And the actuation system with the electromagnetic device is a bi-stable system. That means power is consumed only during the shift. That means in the 20 milliseconds of shifting. This also allows for an ease of use. Compared to a typical dog clutch system where you have to be careful of block shifts, there's no block shift possible with this system. And the calibration and controls as such would be made uh, easier to apply. The torque in this case is over 2,800 newton meters with an ultimate torque up to 8,000 newton meters, but this can be scaled as needed for the particular design application. So as I said, this was launched in production last year. We found that with the very fast 20 millisecond shift time, this actually exceeded the, uh, the whole system shift time, which was an order of magnitude slower. So we started to think about what would be our next steps? How could we help make the system and our customer applications faster as a system and easier to, uh, to actuate? So this has led us to our next generation one-way clutch disconnect system. The idea started um, with the idea of a bicycle and a one-way clutch. So if you think about riding a bicycle, uh, when you pedal the bicycle, you have forward power. When you stop pedaling, you coast. Effectively, you have an automatic disconnect. When you want to apply power again, you simply start to pedal. So how do we apply this now to an electric vehicle driveline system? Well, the principle is the same. Just like when you pedal the bicycle, you can power the electric motor and get be connected and drive forward power. You can turn the motor off, just like when you stop pedaling, and you automatically disconnect and you coast or you're freewheel. When you want to power again, you simply ramp up the e-motor and engage the system. So there's no coordination of uh, disconnect actuator with the uh, propulsion system. Now, if we add a controllable one-way clutch for reverse and regen, now we end up with what we call a bi-directional one-way clutch system. So really this is enabled by the EV architecture with the dedicated e-motor and with the Amstead Automotive one-way clutch technology. So how did we accomplish this? Well, from left to right, we took existing passive one-way clutch designs that are in production, controllable one-way clutch designs that are in production, and in combination with our DCC actuator, which we launched last year, we put these together as building blocks and we create a bi-directional one-way clutch uh, system. So on the right side, we have uh, the um, the strut system for the passive one-way clutch for the forward propulsion. And on the left side, we have another set of struts that are controlled by the electromagnetic actuator for the reverse and regen. But what this ends up doing is providing three actual modes of operation for the vehicle system. Uh, from top to bottom, we have a disconnect mode. You can see the struts are retracted. This is freewheeling. We have a forward power mode with the one-way clutch. and Thirdly, we have reverse torque, which provides the regen and the reverse. Actually, you could almost call that a four-mode operational function. 
For those who like graphs, um, what, we, what this shows is how could some examples work. So on the vertical axis is speed. You can see here we're in disconnect mode. The motor is at zero or idle. The vehicle is moving, so the wheel speed has some velocity and some RPM. So at the moment when uh, reconnect is desired, you, you turn on the motor, you ramp up the speed, and when the speed of the motor matches the wheel speed, you automatically connect, just like on your bicycle. And now you're in power forward mode. If you want to disconnect and go into all-wheel drive disconnect mode, you simply turn off the motor, ramp down, the motor stops, the drivetrain stops moving, but the vehicle continues in um, two-wheel drive, basically. Similarly, if we're in power mode at any time during this power forward mode, the reverse struts can be engaged, and the vehicle is ready for regen at any time that the driver releases the pressure from the accelerator pedal, and you're in regen mode. There's obviously many scenarios, but here there's a couple just to illustrate how, the, how simple this system can work. Um, an example use case application, we have integrated the one-way clutch disconnect into a differential. Now it can be applied anywhere between the motor and the output of the gearbox. In the differential, we thought this was a nice application because when you connect or reconnect, you're actually controlling the, the torque and the power flow to both the left and the right wheels. Um, we have demonstration hardware. If anybody would like to look at that, the parts, uh, we're in hall six and you can see the example of this differential disconnect application. So in summary, um, this system provides fast shift time. So in the forward direction, it's automatic, controlled by when the motor is powered or not powered. And in the reverse regen, you have the 17 millisecond response time. Um, it's reliable, meaning that there's no block shifts like is uh, an issue or can be an issue with uh, some dog clutch designs. And it's based on proven production core technology just reapplied for an electric vehicle application. The smooth shifting can be uh, accomplished through the motor controls or the propulsion motor controls. There's less synchronization needed between the actuation of the disconnect and the propulsion motor. So it really simplifies the, um, the smoothness and the simplicity of the controls. Um, there's no friction devices, as mentioned, so the, uh, the, there's a high efficiency and it's flexible to be packaged within uh, the drivetrain. As I mentioned, it offers three or even four modes of operation. And um, as mentioned, the simplicity of the controls, uh, let's say, provide less complications and less fewer failure modes. And because of the higher reliability of the block shifts not being possible, um, this also enables the potential of disconnecting a primary axle. Um, I'd be very interested to discuss this point with anybody interested, but this would enable a sailing mode to further increase the uh, efficiency of the energy and the range. So in summary, I gave you a little overview of our new disconnect uh, systems with the one-way clutch integration. We also have technologies where we've integrated park lock functionality into the system, which is an option. And we're very involved in applying the same one-way clutch technology as a shift system uh, for two-speed power shift and for multi-speed shift systems, utilizing the one-way clutch as a transitional feature. Um, this is a subject in itself and will be uh, uh, a future presentation. Thank you for attention, and I'd like to invite all of you to come visit our booth in, in Hall 6 today.